We all know that Save the World sort of discontinued about three years ago and has gotten less and less support over time, and we were not even getting a true reason as to why that happened. So what really happened to Save the World? Has anything been added? Let's find out. Save the World was a game that many people looked forward to getting completed, and everyone thought that it would go out of beta and become free to play. At first it was meant to be in 2018, but was delayed and delayed and eventually we got the announcement that it was not going to, to really be supported anymore, which really shook some people, although it really shouldn't be that surprising after Battle Royale literally took over the world and became a cash pay. While people didn't get a refund, they did get a fair amount of V-Bucks based on which edition of Save the World they bought, and after promising people to eventually release game out of beta, people really got outraged after the announcement. So what really happened after that? Well, there were the ventures, which was a nice addition, but it kind of seemed like it was just there as damage control for the announcement. Sprinting, mantling, and sliding was added, which just kind of felt like it was forced into a parody with Battle Royale. They also added all the animals in, which was probably the most forced in addition out of all of them. It was really bad. Sometimes it would also just glow and drop epic and legendary loot, and it just does not feel good and fit in at all. Also, Save the World goes through the cycle of old events, so it sort of just seems like there are updates even though there aren't. Epic did also realize that still having to pay for llamas with V-Bucks was a bit too much for them, which is surprising with how much they love to crown as many microtransactions as possible. The UI hasn't been updated either, which is actually great because the old UI is just so much more pleasing to the eyes and doesn't give me a migraine. And as you can tell, there haven't been that many updates at all, which is pretty sad to me. And it's pretty clear that there won't be more updates anytime soon, or ever. So, what really happened to Save the World? Well, not much. A few minor updates and that's mostly it. It's clear that Save the World was abandoned due to Battle Royale being way more profitable. So what's the point of finishing a project that you have been working on for 10 years to be this ultimate game? I really do believe that if the Save the World was finished in that of beta, not nearly as popular as Battle Royale, it's still very popular. While it doesn't have as many people playing as Battle Royale, it still has a cult fan base, and it does make me happy that people are still supporting this abandoned game. Subscribe if you feel like it. See you next time.